know it's spiritual story time. So I can say about two months ago, I ordered some waist beads offline on Amazon. And the main reason why I bought these waist beads is because like during quarantine, I gained the fupa and I'm just trying to embrace it. Now, while I was ordering these waist beads, I do have to say I was feeling a little bit iffy about it. Main reason why is because they're originated from African tribes who involve themselves in demon worship. But I thought to myself and I said, no, that's not the reason why I'm using it. So I'm just going to buy for myself. And when I say buy for myself, I mean I'm just using it for fashionable purposes. So I ordered the waist bead and I go to check my order two days before it arrives to my house. So now as I'm looking at this order to make sure that everything is right and, it coming, and it's coming to the right place, I had this burning sensation in my stomach to stop the order. And I was wondering why am I having this burning sensation? And God yelled at me in my spirit and said, turn that back now. And it was literally so clear that there were no ifs, ands, or buts about what he had said. Stay tuned for part two. Here's part two of the spiritual story time. So after God gave me a word in my spirit, I decided to cancel the order. Mind you, I still have this burning sensation in my stomach. A few hours later, I got a confirmation in the email that the Amazon order was canceled. And after that, the burning sensation had went away. So my mom comes home from work and I tell her the situation about how I order waist beads and the situation where God had told me to turn them back. She was shocked and surprised that I would even order them. And she said that uh, she was glad that I canceled the order. And she also told me that certain colors put together mean something in the spirit realm. And after that, Jesus told me something again and said, be careful what you put near your womb. A few weeks later, after the situation happened, I recently got back in touch with a teacher who I had in high school. And as I'm explaining the situation to her, guess what she tells me? A former witch who is now a renowned Christian had told her, these waist beads are blessed and prayed over, but the prayers that they pray are not to Jesus Christ. Part three coming up next. And also while I'm explaining this story to my high school teacher, she also tells me the jewelry that these witches and warlocks are making, they're actually made underwater. And one thing I do know for sure, when you conjure up certain things, they attach themselves onto items. A demonic force needs something to attach itself to in order to manifest in the physical realm. So if you have waist beads, I suggest you get rid of them. And pray over your house also, and your body. And scratch that. Before you even pray, you need to ask God to protect your spirit first. Because I'm sure those demonic influences will hinder you from trying to say that prayer.